Hey guys, welcome back to another video here on Food Chain TV. Will you look at this? Is this like the nicest, creamiest freaking thing you've ever seen? Well, this is my spaghetti chicken alfredo, and it is just overflowing with creaminess. And I'm gonna show you how to make this recipe. It's really easy. It only takes like 20 minutes, and oh my God, look at this. Cheesy goodness. All right, let, let's get, you know what? We have no time to describe this. Let's get right into this recipe. All right, these are the basic ingredients for this recipe. We have a pound of spaghetti. We have one quart of half and half, and we have some milk. You can make this without chicken, but I'm gonna make it with chicken. Okay, we're also gonna use some eggs, good Parmesan cheese, I get mine from Costco, chicken bouillon, and garlic powder. Okay, the first step is to add a lot of salt to your pasta water. This gives the pasta a nice base flavor. I like dark meat chicken. You can use chicken breast if you like. Whatever you use, just cut it into nice little small bite-sized pieces. Okay, now that we have our pan nice and hot, a couple of swirls of olive oil, our chicken, a little bit of salt, and we'll cook it till it's done. All right, as soon as your chicken is cooked, drop the pasta in the water. Okay, so for this pasta, this says to cook for 10 or 11 minutes. So I'm gonna cook it for about seven or eight minutes until it's uh, very al dente, and then we'll move it into the sauce directly. Okay, now back to the chicken. While the pasta is cooking, we're going to start the sauce. All right, now we're gonna add our flavoring agents. In this case, a little bit of these chicken bouillon powder, some garlic powder. If you want fresh garlic at this point, go ahead. But if you wanna make this easy, just use garlic powder. Okay, give it a nice stir. Our half and half. Okay, put that in there. Okay, we're gonna bring this up to a simmer and keep your eye on it. Don't walk away from it because you don't want it to boil over. Also, while you're waiting for this to come up to temperature, you can give it a little taste and you can adjust the seasoning. So this needs a little bit of salt. And a little bit of fresh ground black pepper. As soon as you see the sauce start to uh, simmer like that, you just want to turn off the heat, okay? I just want it nice and hot, but I just turned off the stove because I want to wait for the pasta. Okay, so the stove is off, sauce is just sitting there chilling out. Okay, so we are now at seven minutes. So I've drained the pasta and it's gonna go right into the sauce, just like that. All right, so here is the technique for this extra super ultra creamy spaghetti alfredo is first of all we want to get the pasta all into the sauce right here okay half and half is 18 percent fat and the rest is water so what's going to happen here is this pasta is not fully cooked it's still cooking so we want it to absorb most of that water from the half and half and what's going to be left over is that 18 percent fat and that's what's going to make it beautiful and creamy Okay, so I'm gonna turn the stove back on to medium high heat and we're gonna start simmering this. And as it simmers, the pasta is gonna soak up the water and we're gonna be left with perfectly cooked pasta and a beautiful rich creamy sauce from the leftover fat. Now, let's say you're cooking this and it gets too thick, so you run out of water and the pasta is still not fully cooked. Well, that's why we have regular milk on hand just in case okay but if you do this perfectly you won't need the milk but just have it just in case all right because you need to make this recipe a few times to get it right and it's always good to be able to save it if something goes wrong okay now we've got this where we want it it's simmering beautifully and we're just making sure that that pasta is just absorbing all that water now this is something you want to watch don't walk away from this if you have commitment issues this may not be a recipe for you you gotta commit to this. Okay, you gotta be here babying it, making sure it has what it needs. That way you won't scold it, scorch it, burn it, and it'll turn out beautifully. Just keep a nice little simmer, just like this. 
Okay, so this has been simmering for four minutes and it's done. And you know how I know it's done? Because if you look at the bottom of the pan and you do this, see, for a split second, you can see the bottom of the pan. And that's how I know that most of that water has been absorbed by the pasta and what's left over is that beautiful fat. But wait, there's more. All right, so what we do now is we move this over, slide this over to the part of the stove that's not hot. In this case, it's gonna have to be the cutting board because my whole stove is hot. All right, so look at that beautiful creaminess, but we're not done because we wanna make this even creamier. And we're gonna do that by adding egg yolks and a lot of that Parmesan cheese, okay? And we have this off the stove, off the heat because we don't need to add heavy heat to this. We just need to turn this into a creamy goodness, okay? So now you just stir that in there. Make sure you incorporate all those egg yolks. And that's just gonna make it way creamier than it was. So it's like creamy to the max level times 100 squared. Look at this. Oh my God. Whew. Oh my God. Creaminess overload, guys. And we didn't even have to make a roux. We didn't have to add any extra flour. This is all just beautiful, rich, velvety sauce. And like risotto, you're gonna have to enjoy this in the next 10 or 15 minutes because as this is hot, the pasta is still actually absorbing water, okay? So uh, in about 10 or 15 minutes, it's actually gonna be too dry. So you guys gotta eat this now. So check it, beautiful, oh my God. All right, guys, thank you very much for watching this video. Please do not forget to hit that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Give me a like and tell me what you thought of this recipe in the comments. Um, I can't even talk anymore. This is uh, going in my mouth in uh, just a few seconds. So thank you guys very much for supporting my channel. And oh my God, will you look at this? Will you look at this creamy, delicious pot? I gotta do a little taste test. Let's do a little taste test here, okay? Oh my God, look at this. And I know I say this a lot, guys, but I love making these videos for you for obvious reasons. Uh, I get to enjoy these. Oh my God, I'm like salivating over here. Oh. Wow, this is amazing. So much cheese in this, so creamy, so much flavor. Listen, you guys gotta turn off YouTube right now and go buy yourself some pasta and make this recipe. Trust me, you will thank me. All right, guys, see you on the next video.